Hello guys, it is Shivam here. Welcome to our brand new video where we are going to make the expense tracking app from the scratch by using Flutter and Firebase. Now let's get started. So before we move forward, if you have an amazing app idea, but you don't have a time or skills to develop an app, don't worry, my team will develop the app for you. So you can search for my startup name, which is an app crafting at app crafting. We transform ideas into powerful, beautiful mobile experience. Whether you are a startup or a business ready to scale, we design, build and launch your app fast, professional and ready for the world. You can just fill out the contact form and get a quote. Just fill out your name, your last name and your email and your requirements as well and after submitting this form my team will reach you out to develop your app for both play store and app store before moving to the code let me show you how our expense app will look alike by the end of this series and what all features we are going to cover on this series right so here you can see that this is the landing page for our expense app and it has just written the engaging text like right? manage your daily life expenses expense tracker is a simple and efficient personal finance management app that allows you to track your daily expense and income yeah so this is just an expense tracking app from where we can just ex like track our daily expense and income monthly and yearly right so i'll click to this get started button and this is the login page that we have land and this is the sign up page so these are all the things that we are going to create on this series and you can see that the login and sign up page i think so it's look really great with this awesome design and we'll just move to the sign up page and I'll just show you that how we are going to authenticate by using the email authentication. Yes, we are going to cover the email authentication on this series by using the Firebase. So I'm going to just enter the my name, which is like in Shivam Gupta. Then I'll just enter the email, which is like Shivam 22 CKP at the rate gmail.com. Okay, then I need to enter the password. So I just pass a random password. Now we'll click to this and i'll just show you that how we can simply sign up in the app and we register successfully and directly land to the home page okay now here you can see that it's just written the welcome back with an engaging text shivam gupta the user image manage your expenses so this is just ex like engaging text we have passed expenses 1 september 2025 to 38 september 2025 so it's going to just calculate like which current month you are using this app so i'm going to show that respective date of that current month over here so if you are going to use this app in october so it's going to show that 1 october to 38 october i think so 31st october right so this is what we are going to do and it's going to show that how much expense that we have done it's going to show all the data like shopping grocery others this month this year so these are all the things that we are going to handle but let me show you first by adding the expense so this is how we can simply navigate to a profile page where we can see the name the user like my email now i'm going to show you that how i can just add an expense so i'm going to add an expense like for example 100 and i just need to select the category so it's for the shopping grocery or other so for example if i'll select a grocery and i'll just select a date like 13 and i'll click on ok now we we'll click to the submit button and you can see that the snack bar showing the text like expense has been added successfully now let's move back to the home page and you will now see the pie chart so this is the pie chart you can see it shows that the grocery that you have added is for hundred dollars the expense that we have done is like hundred dollars right now let's move and we'll add another expense for shopping right let's pass 200 we'll click to the shopping we'll select a date we'll click on ok click on submit back again expense added successfully now let's move back to the home page and you will see that some changes in the expense you can see that now the shopping is like 200 dollars grocery is 100 total expense is like 300 and you can see that pie chart shows that uh, the shopping ratio and a grocery ratio now let's move and let add the expense for the others so i'll just pass 300 we'll click to the others select a date 23 or 25 we'll click on submit back again okay so expense added successfully now let's move back to the home page and you will see that the changes in the pie chart again you can see that expense is like now 600 dollars others is like 300 so you can see that the percentage that have been shown according to this pie chart right so you can see that while i was adding the expense the expense has been changed from this month so it's going to show the total expense for this month and uh, this year right 
now here you can see that there is one more section which is like income and income has been shown in green color because you know that income look good when it is green on green color and expense is on red color because we don't like an expense yeah so income is on green color now here i'll just move and we'll click on add income and i'll just add an income so i'll just select a date to 17 we click on ok click on submit you can see that income has been added successfully now let's move back and here you will see that the income has been added for this month which is like a 200 dollars now what i'm going to do is that you can see that for the this month it's like 200 dollars and for the this year also is for 200 dollars because we have just added for september but i'm going to just add an income for a different month so that you can see the difference so i'll just pass 400 and here i'll just select an october okay i'll just pass 15 october we'll click on submit income has been added successfully now let's move back over here and you can see that for this month it shows 200 dollar which is correct now when i'll move to the this year tab you will see that the income has been changed to 600 dollar because it's going to show the complete income for that respective year and it's going to show that the income for this respective month so these are how all the tracking that this i'm going to manage and these are all the things that we are going to cover on this awesome expense tracking app series. So one more thing that if you want to get a source code of this complete app, I'll provide you the link in the description box and in the comment box as well. You can simply click to that link and can get a source code of this complete expense tracking app. And if you want to pay from the other payment methods like Google, Paytm or something, then you can just DM me on my Instagram ID. I'll just provide you the source code as soon as possible. And this is just a small contribution from your side to this channel as I also need a small contribution from your side as well just to keep going on this channel and your contribution is very very necessary for me to keep going right now let's move that this is an ad expense page now on this ad expense page we are going to add all the expenses for the respective dates right so here you can see that the user will going to simply enter the amount in this respective text field they will just select a category and the date right so i'm going to just write a text editing controller over here so that the user can simply handle the text that the not handle the text they can just enter the amount on this respective text field so I just need to write amount controller is equals to new text editing controller something like this music text editing controller something like this now once we have created this controller now we can just pass this to okay so we have already written the amount controller so we just can just remove this from here and we can just pass the controller to that respective text field to handle the amount right and once we do this we can just uh, pass this to select a respective category like you can see that the category that i've added which is like a shopping grocery and others right now these are all the categories that the user need to select right now once we do this i am going to select a date like the user will select a date and they will then we'll just upload a data to that respective users document i am telling the users document is because let me move to the firebase so that i can explain you whether we are going to uh, like where we are going to create the collection which is like an expense collection and we are going to add one by one documents in the expense collection right so here we move to the users collection and here you can see that this is a respected document that we have just uh, passed where the Shivam Gupta details and this is a respective ID that we have given to the Shivam Gupta right now here what I'm going to do is that for example if the user will add an expense we are going to just add that expense to that respective user document I think so you are getting what I'm trying to explain like we are going to match that whether the user ID match with an ID that where he is just adding the expense and once we match that we are going to create a collection name which is like expense collection and in that expense collection we are going to add all the expenses right i hope it's very clear now let me show you how we are going to handle that case you can see that in the database.dart file i am going to create a function so let's copy this function which is like add user expense okay so this is just a function that we are creating like add user expense this is a map that we have just need to pass an id so we'll move to the users collection doc id and we'll just create one more collection so we'll just need to pass the collection name which is like an expense collection dot add method okay dot add method will just add the not a user info map we can just pass the map name which is like an user expense okay user expense okay so this is just a map name they, we need to pass this is like an user expense something like this now once we do this 
now here what i'm going to do that okay so there is some problem what's really the problem is first let's save all the file first okay so then we can just see the thing so i just need to pass like do you need to just add the rest fence so i just need to pass like uh, wrap with a gesture detector and in the on tap method so in the on tap method i just need to pass like this i need to just create a map and map is a combination of key and value pair as i've told you so i just need to write a string dynamic you just need to write add expense which is a map name so add expense something like this and once we do this i just need to pass the map name okay not a map name we have just passed the map name we just need to pass the fields that we need for in this respective map so for that i'm going to just create first like an amount so i just need to write amount something like this now to get a text from the amount text field i mean this text field i just need to write amount controller dot text okay now the category that they have chosen so i just need to pass the category and in the category i just need to pass the category which will like a value something like this then we need to just also show the date that they have selected now for the date i'm going to just select this completely and we are going to just paste it something over here okay so this is what we have just passed like amount category and date now let's call the function so for that let's pass like a sync so i need to just write a sync await database methods dot add user expense okay and we need to just pass the map name which is like an add expense now i need to just get the user id now you know that through that shared preference like we have just saved the user id now i'll show you that how we are going to get a data locally by using a shared preference right so i just need to get, write a function name which is like get the shared p r e f get the shared p r e f now once we pass this i just need to write a sync id is equals to await we just need to write shared preference helper which is our class name dot get user id i need to just get the user id i need to just pass a set state something like this and the init state i'm going to call the get the shared pref function i think so you know the use of an init state like when this expense page will be called the init state is the first function that usually call so once the like when the user will land to this expense page the we'll get the id and once we get an id we can use that id right so that's a basic idea now here i just need to pass like a null check something like this okay so this is how we can just write a function which is like an add user expense now once that expense has been added i'm going to just show the snack bar just to know that the expense has been added successfully right so i just need to copy this respective snack bar from here i need to just paste it something over here and we need to just pass like expense added successfully expense added added successfully successfully something like this now this is what we have just passed expense added successfully now here what i'm going to do is that i'm also going to pass the set state now for an example if they want to add a second expense after adding the first expense they, we can just pass like amount controller dot text and we can just pass the amount controller text to space or empty we can we can just like empty this amount text field so that user can enter the another expense right so that's a basic idea now once we do this i just need to hot restart this app and we'll just move to the home page rather than again we don't need to sign up again so i just need to move to the home page i will click to this profile page move to the add, add expense now i just need to add an amount so for example if i'll add 100 dollars and we'll just click to shopping category we'll just select a date to 13 we we'll click on ok now we we'll click to the submit button now we'll wait and you can see that expense added successfully now let's see what all data has been added over here so i need to just refresh this firebase console page and you will see that the users collection and expense collection as well so you can see that this is not id okay so this is not id as well okay so this is the id and you can see that the users collection and this is the specific doc id and you can see that the expense collection has been created over here and in this expense collection you will see that the amount that has been added the category is shopping the date that we have chosen so you can see that how we can successfully upload the data to the cloud fire store so this was for the expense page now we will move to the add income page for the add income we just need two things which is like an amount and a date right so here i'm going to just again create a respective text field not a text field text field already has been created so text editing control is there so i just need to pass okay it's passed 
so here i'll just move and let's first create the function so i'll just need to copy this we'll just paste it over here which is like add user income something like this and here i just need to pass the collection name which is like an income something like this okay so this is what we have done we just need to write user income which is an a map name user income okay so this is what we have done we can just pass like user income okay so this is what we have done now we'll just move over here we need to just wrap up this container with a gesture detector and in the on tap method in the on tap method i just need to write an async and here i just need to pass again a map name which is like a string dynamic i just need to write a string dynamic we can just pass like add income something like this which is just a map name okay so once we do this i just need to pass the field name which is like an amount and in the amount i just need to pass like amount controller dot text just to get a text then i need to pass a date and we'll write a date something like this now to get the date i just need to copy this string then just paste it something over here okay so this is what we have done we just need to pass a wait database methods dot add user income we just need to pass the map name which is like an add income then a specific doc id not a doc, yeah doc id or you can see a user id as well so why to write the thing again and again what i'm going to do is the copy paste work so i'll just need to copy this we'll just paste it something over here okay so we can just get an id and once we get an id i will just pass the id something like this okay now we need to also show that snack bar that the income has been added successfully right so I just need to copy this snack bar from here and we need to just paste it something over here okay and we need to just pass the text which is like an income added successfully now i need to just hot restart this complete app and i'll show you that how our income page is working now i just need to add the income which is like 200 dollars we'll just select a date to 17 we'll click on submit right now you can see that income added successfully now we can again just pass like amount controller dot text so i'll just need to pass sex state amount controller dot text should be empty right so that they can enter the another income if they want right now here i'll just need to refresh this firebase console back again and once we do this i just need to wait for a second okay so here you can see that the another collection that has been created which is like an income collection and in this income collection the document has been added which is like an amount and the date that we have selected right so this is how you can simply add an expense add an income now let's move back to the home page and we need to show all the data over here right so for the data we'll just move back to the home page and what i'm going to do is that first i'm going to get a data for the shopping grocery and others so these are the categories where we have just added an expense so i'm going to just get all the data and once we get a data we can just track them right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to move to the expense collection and through that expense collection and through the respective category i'm going to calculate all the amounts for that e month like 1 september to 30 38 september for example and we are going to just show that respective expense that they have done for that respective month right so these are all the things that we are going to do right now 